There is an old-fashioned uh, plane that's been in use for a long time. It was used a long time ago and less used today because most of our wood comes from a machine. But what I want to ask you is whether you would use a plane that would take a surface down faster without just using your smoothing plane or your jack plane. And that's what I want to introduce here. Sometimes we buy a rough piece of wood, it's got twists in it, it's got warpage in it, and we want to take it down quickly. What I've done, I just have a scrub plane that I've made out of a Stanley. So I put a super strong camber on the blade itself. And that means it's got a curve all the way across it. And actually it takes off very little wood in width, but it takes a lot of depth if you set it up right. So I just keep a separate blade, but you can make a dedicated plane. You can take an old vintage number four plane and set it up and dedicate that plane by just introducing that iron. You can just use your regular number four plane and have a spare iron blade that you put into that. So here we go, this is what it does. It takes the high spots off like this. It seems not to be doing much at the beginning. So we go across the surface of the board and it's taking off high spots and it's skimming over. So I've got high spot here, high spot here and high spot here. That can be a wave in the bandsaw blade when the wood was being cut. It could be that there's some warpage when it was drying, which it automatically happens when you start drying wood. This is taking the crown out of the middle. So this is crowned. So when I've done that, I go across, I start going along the grain like this. Now it's hogging off a lot of wood, more than I can get with my smoothing plane. Then when I've got these high spots down, I can come in with a jack plane or a smoothing plane and finish off the surfaces because what this leaves is a slight undulation in the surface of the wood because of course we're using a rounded iron. We've got a belly on that cutting edge. But this is cherry, this is a hardwood and it's taking the wood down very nicely down to a suitable level. Bring in a smaller plane, another plane or a jack plane and start surfacing that plane, that's uh, planing that surface and you've got a very nice uh, symbiotic relationship between the two planes. Now then, we're working with rough wood and you might think, oh that's useful. What about some smooth wood? What if you had to take off a lot of wood? What if you had to take off a quarter of an inch from the edge, a quarter of an inch from the edge, take this down. If you took the plane now and tilted your plane down to that quarter inch line, like that, it's hogging off that material, go on the same on the opposite side. At first it feels like it's taking nothing off. Down to your line or close to your line, so you've got the ridge in the middle. Now take off the midsection. And you can do this across a wide board as well using exactly the same technique. So this is just a regular iron. It's just an ordinary number four planing iron. And it works great. What about this one though? Let me show you quickly on this one. What if I wanted a chamfer like this going around the edge of the board for a box lid or something like that. I come in with this, I'll just go down one eighth for speed, but you could go down to any depth like that. If you put the plane, the piece of wood in the vise like this, angle so it's got a good grip and take the plane, same plane, same setting. Go at an angle like this, I've gone at an angle this way. If I go this way, that outside edge will break off like that. So go at a skew. And this is how you would raise a panel. Just using the scrub plane to start with. So I'm working down to my depth line here. I'm working to this line here. And then that last little bit, you come in with a smoothing plane to trim it up and get it nice and smooth. A little bit more set there. Like that, it's already beveled along this edge here. You can go this way. 
like this and use the plane this way and this works just fine so I go down 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 till I hit that pencil line on this side there I've got this down here or just go in the vise this way Tilt it slightly so you've got a good grip here and then use your plane this way. Again, down to your line. As soon as you get near to your line, then take the midsection out. And now we're ready to go in with the smoothing plane and we've raised a panel with a beautiful mitre on the corner like this here. Ah, it looks beautiful. We've got this done. It's very quick and simple. Scrub planes are very versatile for taking off lots of material fast. Mm -hmm.